George Forster, Chair Pro Tem, is they're going to declare this meeting in order. Slide five fifteen. Uh, looks like the first thing on the agenda is to review recent minutes and approve them. Huh? Um, I've done that. The only question I had was I didn't realize I was sharing um, that meeting on the on the fifteenth. I'll take your word for it. Um, have you had a chance to go through them? Yes. And yes. Any questions? No. All right. No, I move that we uh, approve the minutes for November 1st, no, 15th, okay. 29th, December 4th, and, and December, December 5th. 5th. I second that motion. Yes. <laughs> um, both in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. So that's done. Nice to see Lori right on top of these things. Got mm -hmm. the fits minutes cranked out. All caught up. Oh, okay. Um, number one on the item is a new mail and invoices. We have new mail and invoices. Um, well, we have another sale for education form. Oh, good. From the Dowds. Very nice. And then we have two invoices from Mason, your planner, and this calendar. Totaling a whole whopping, I think, fifteen dollars. Sixteen thirty. Oh. <laughs> I think this table is not going to last say, much longer. The table longer. it's speaking, or in my chair. The table. It needs to be tightened up. Unfortunately, every time that the air conditioner goes in and out the window, it's used as a platform mm. <laughs> to stand on. Okay, let's initial those two, and then we'll have to. Have Russ sign it later. Is it, does she need to sign or just two of us? Uh, no, he has to sign the front sheet. Right. And there's plenty of sign. As chair, is that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But we send motion to approve. Right? Yes, yes. absolutely. I move to Thank you. payment of these two bills. That's the sum total of $16.30. I second it. All both in favor? In favor, yes. Okay. Um, but Russ still has to sign the cover sheet. He does have to it's sign the cover sheet. Administrative matter. Right. Without. Okay. This Ooh. house was on the market for four days. That's oh, it. Beautiful house. Oh, yes. Holy miracle. This is a piece of new mail. Is that what that represents? Yeah, that's about it. Outside of the maps, but that's in that box. I don't think you're going to bring those out for the night. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a big full size map for you by board. Um, so this is another one of the survey forms? Yes. Can you believe that one's by the seller? Yes. And it sold for like 50000 more than they were asking originally. Mm -hmm. It sold for some more than they were asking. Well, well, yeah. Rough round numbers like yeah. 50. So they sold it in four days and they got more than they asked. Mm -hmm. It's the way the market's going these days. Where is this? Uh, Bartles Ferry, one, two, third house on the right, just opposite where New Hall Cross comes down. Okay. Is it 250? Something like that. Yeah. I try to get the addresses up in the top corner of them. And you can see I didn't. Okay. Should you put this back? I'll get it all back. No, thank you. All right. That's all the new mail and invoices then? Well, we do have, as I say, our, our, uh, Maps updated to 1122, uh, 23. Mm. 22. 1120. I think we've. 1123, because all of our 22 changes are in there. Are those the 22 changes? I believe so, yeah. I hope so. Okay. The maps reflect what changes from year to year? Just uh, Any new surveys, any changes based on, you know, splits, of course, and anything like that. Because the maps really aren't about ownership. Really. No, about no, it's just identifying, lines. right, identifying parcels, yeah. And um, also, when we compare with the written descriptions on the deeds, should there be any discrepancies, we have to research that and, if necessary, change things. And how often do those maps get updated? There, It's an annual every year process, yep, to January 1. Uh, we were running behind a little bit, but now we're pretty well caught up. We got and generated. then they reload them onto the GIS site. And the maps are generated by some company that uses our CAMA data. Uh, they we send 
Well, they're the company that originally did the mapping in Conway in 1987. What information are they getting from us each year? They're getting copies of the surveys, and plus they already have it all online anyway. You know, they've built it over the years. Yeah. But the new information they're getting is... is, right. is copies of surveys, yeah, hard copies from us, or we have to support any uh, request for a change. If we see a different dimension or something sure, or a missing dimension, mm -hmm. right, we have to send them the hard copy of where we found okay. that information. Fundamentally, it's new lots that are created or combined yes. or somehow right. Or if an easement is made, mm -hmm. even if an easement is given and created, yeah, mm -hmm. I like to get them on at some point. I'd like to see a layer of just easements. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we're done with new mail and invoices. Mm -hmm. So we have recent sales, new listings, and new permits. Well. Mm -hmm. Well, Malcolm's house is back on the market. Back on the market? Yes. The yeah. sale didn't go through to... Well, Gerani backed out. It was just... That one little sliver of land was causing oh, right. way too much of a bureaucratic yeah. nightmare and... Costing them potentially tens of thousands more. Yeah, and the whatever she was paying to her lawyer to help with all the research trying to fix it. She wasn't. So back on the market, see if someone else is the one that wants to buy it. Yes. Despite the Can I sliver. deal with that? Yep. And then this, of course, is just as you start out, just past the cover bridge. There are more trees in front of it. I don't know how they got that good a picture. Standing in front of the trees? Must have been. You can stand close and then just bring your phone in so it pulls more. Oh. You, the opposite of Zoom, you can unzoom. On your, if you're using a cell phone, yes. you can unzoom. Okay. So it looks like you're further away than you are. According to the pictures that go with the ad, the house is in kind of rough condition, some parts of it. We have a value to 223. They're asking 299. Hmm. Okay. It's right on the river. Which many people would enjoy. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So this is just for our information. Yes. And they're on the they're on the bullet board outside. Do you want any signatures on this document? No, don't need to right now. Okay. 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 I'm just. All right. Any other new listings or new permits? These are like uh, there's a stack of new permits, there. and I have the sales in my hand. I'm just checking to see how many transfers and how many actual sales. Yes, not many. No. So, a lot of convenience transfers. Yeah. We shall start reading the permits and so just see if can just sort. I work on this. So when you want initials in the upper right hand corner, mm -hmm. is that on the great place? One, two, three, four transfers, one sale. Mm -hmm. And the sale was even. Mm -hmm. You've told me where River's Edge Drive is before, but um, that's the one that's sort of out by the second Reeds Bridge Road bridge. Yes, that's it. You go over that little bridge and, and you're going to meet it right. And it's a drive, meaning it's not, uh, it's a private. That's correct. Way. If that's correct. There are one, two, three, four houses on it. This table's going to drive me crazy. It isn't. Yeah. I think we loosened it when we moved it because it wasn't doing this yesterday. Oh, well. We'll have to shuffle it around. Yeah. 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 Be so it picked up a few jobs. Mm. The benefit of their salesmen going around knocking on doors. Yeah, <laughs> it seems so. Okay. 
Um, this property is owned by Guilford Investment Trust. Is that? Yes, that's Betty Lou's. Okay. Yep. And this is the same property? Uh, they have to usually have a separate electrical permit in addition to the construction permit. Gotcha. Brook Road car charger. So we've got an electric. Uh -huh. Yep. Oops. 3.24 kilowatts is a small yeah. it's installation about, yeah. these days. It's about half of what a typical house would, would yes. be. Yes, and that's a duplex. Maybe it's only just one size. Us. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. It's, it's, but it's a duplex under one ownership. Yes. But they only want it for themselves, not for the tenant. Could be. Um. So this makes reference to two thirty four Main Poland Road, the Ann Morton yep. Trust. Right, that's now the Amsburg Tech. It's now what? Amsburg Tech. It's not Michael as Lambs important as in a couple of, year, couple of years, but the register, the building inspector still is working from an old list. And they're in the process of changing from this permit eyes um, program to another, so they don't want to be bothered with a new list right yet. Mm -hmm. I was talking with her it's about three weeks ago she was in. Uh, longer than mm -hmm. that was it was pre-tax and it's a nightmare. Oh, <laughs> it, was <pre> -tax. <laughs> it was the day that Jeff went to look at inspect my wood stove. It was pre-tax nightmare. We were just in the bad dream stage at that point. People seem to really like the pellet stoves. I don't know. I thought they had their day. But, you know. Yeah. They're still selling. It's a more controlled heat. Yes, you can do it with each. You can, well, you can control the temperature. So it, 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 it so it's a more controlled heat. Um, it's a more even heat, and it's a less smoky heat. True. <laughs> and you don't have to look paying weird. attention to it all day, right? You don't have to be feeding. right. Right. I mean, if you, I understand it, you can. If you have the right one, you can feed it in the morning, and it's going to last until the next morning. You know, you're going to get in the 24 hours out of right out of your load. Well, or certainly until you get home that night. Right. But if you yeah. get, you know, it's better to do it at night before you go to bed, and then maybe it'll cool a little while you're at work. But not. True. The only drawback is if you lose power, you're losing your pellets, right? Which is why we bought our radiant stove. Mm -hmm. But when the power went out, you could mm -hmm. have a warm room. Mm -hmm. Bump water heater. Mm -hmm. Like well, we still have our good old wood stove, and we have a fan behind it. So this is two individuals who are basically transferring their their interest in their property to trusts. Yes. Parallel trusts. Exactly. With themselves as trustees. Oh, okay. 
I was going to be like, wait a minute, what does chapter applications go? But they're in your hand. Yeah, I'm just glancing through them. Yeah, which is good because, again, I'm not an assessor. So I don't look for the... That is... Remember, I said I was going to do that so she could... Yeah. Uh, I could send it to her and say, this is what you need to copy. It's an owner now. And hopefully we'll be in future. Copy this, not that. This is one of the evidence just shifting to these trusts. People of a certain age, I presume. I think so. I think it's a big part of estate planning for many people. Almost every month we see at least one come through. And we need to do our expense. Upper Hill Farm. Youngest son is robbing at the bit. It was my house. <laughs> Take it off your hands. Mm -hmm. He has no way to. How cursed that building is. Oh dear. So this one sounds like a couple for 50000 Sold a piece of piece to the butter. Uh, a so a piece of the butter. land. Yeah. Okay, that he is not in forest. He's in uh, 61B. So that's circled up here, so that's good. We'll just ignore it. Okay, so, yeah, he checked. And he, that's all filled out, so that's fine. Okay. Shame on him for checking the wrong box. It's probably woods, so he just assumed it's a forest. I mean, it's kind of built up, you know. It's a forest. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> in oh, life is safe. Yeah, she came in and, and she was worried about how to put it right here. And I just made sure she knew she had 12 acres in, in 61. Yes. So we just, you know, it's like, just make it right. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. you also want to yeah. I do. I do. I will disperse tomorrow to where their proper homes need to be and do with the stuff I need to do with. These all, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Roxanne makes eight. Uh, and I just added her as one. Oh, okay. So six, six plus one. Um, I move that we. Accept these seven chapter applications for fiscal 25. Uh, they are all in good order and complete. Just give me 30 seconds. Oh, yes, absolutely. Turn my eye across them. By all means. Did you read in the news? Was it today that Mike Kittredge is at State yes. and Leverage? Uh, mm -hmm. 700 dwellings? Yeah. yeah, I'm sure that the residents of Leverage are not dealing with that news very well. A lot of... How far along is the project, or is it just a proposal? Oh, it's, it's just a very preliminary concept okay. at this point. The idea, though, is that they would tie into the Amherst water and sewer systems and therefore be able to do this in Leverage because they couldn't oh. otherwise. You know, the density would be too great. That's yeah. right. That's quite a concept in and of itself. But Leverett is one of those nice, quiet farm communities that yes. probably that are probably going. <laughs> well, I don't know what this style of it would be or anything else, but. Well, we're talking about a combination of things. I mean, apartment buildings, single family homes. It sounded real, it. Feel like a planned unit development to yes. concept. Yeah. But. Mm, that is a lot of landing. Mm, but that's a lot of dwellings. Yes, it is. This one um, doesn't indicate how many acres are to be classified. No, it, it exactly what's there, though. I, I presume it adds it, up. Yeah. It's yes. not, it's not yeah. in the little box. Right. Yeah. You're right. My bad, but it is. It's the mm -hmm. 118. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, not my bad. You're bad. But 
kind of they built it. It would be well, it's, it's interesting because it's all tied into Amherst in terms of utilities. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know on the Leverett side. Question would be more like fire protection, police, yes, mm -hmm. those kinds of things. That mm -hmm. suddenly, yes, urgent, it, right? And, and, and there are there a town like us that has you know the part time fire, part time police, local animal control. You know, it's yep. it's a what is the Leverett? They must be part of Amherst Regional High School. Uh, yes. Yeah. But they have their own elementary school, I presume. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But that's, oh. that's that's the kind of stuff that must make their heads explode. <laughs> 700 dwellings, how many kids? No. How many potential fires? Uh, yes. um, I can't, yeah. No. So it will, it, it's going to grow from a town to a a little city and yes it could it is yes. it's going to i suspect everyone's going to just slide into amherst yeah it, well it's going to it'll double their their residency it'll come close to the doubling their, 63 their will. oh god yes it'll come close to doubling whether it's residency because mm, if you figure well. at least two adults plus children in yes. most of those places and well could well do um yeah. signatures on these I move that we get accept them and then you moved it. I second the motion. Both in favor. I all favor, yes. Um so I my same question. Do we have to sign these? Yes, yes we do. do. Yeah. 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 All the, the back of the back bottom of page. page one. Well, in some cases, page <laughs> two. <laughs> some cases yeah. here. Yes, yeah, I'll, just, I'll fill out the rest. Okay. There's you. not that many. I'll deal with the rest of it. Yeah. When there's 30, it's one thing. When I'm trying to copy them and get them out to the property owner. And these don't have to hang around for us. You just need the two signatures. Right, right. So the only thing that needs to hang is that invoice. Oops. Right. <laughs> trying to picture what would happen in Conway. Mm. Somehow you could build 700 dwellings. Well, you could. Over a short period of time. Yeah. Um, right. I'd leave more hours, please. I mean, that would like double the number of, of it would. residential properties, right? Almost. Yes, almost. They would. Or more than that? More than that? No, right. Almost yeah. double. Yeah. And it, it would. We have 593 single family homes, plus we have another uh, at least 250, 260 or more, uh, either two residences in one home or two residences on the same property. So we're at about 850 yes. residential units. Claire, I need more hours. Mm hmm. Yeah, just think about the amount of the administrative paperwork that billing, assessing, down dog licenses, uh, you know, this goes on mm -hmm. and on. Voter registration, elections, mm -hmm. it would. Yep. Our office would be impacted a bit, yes. It would probably still stay under the 5,000 resident mark to keep us in one precinct, though, which is good. Mm -hmm. That's so, a good thing. But just think about, well, from the assessor's point of view, you've got twice as many properties oh, to, yes. to inspect every year or every 10 years uh, mm -hmm. and so on. Fine. Yes, the assessor's department would actually have to be a little more yes. active. Yeah. Um, so we got motor vehicle excise warrants? Yes. One yep. warrant. Um, some abatements. Probably the next to the last one for this year. Dennis Warner. No, that's because she's tax collector. Mm -hmm. Right. And those are the people to whom it's billed. Okay, so this is sort of this is the standard. This is an additional billing based on who folks who um transferred their registrations to Conway or bought new cars or you know have new vehicles changed, traded. So these are people who asked for um an adjustment in their excise no, no. taxes. No, no, these no. are new vehicles. These so are new vehicles, new vehicles. to Conway. 
Okay. Yeah, lots of people trade at this time of year. Mm -hmm. uh, or buy new. Too many people move to town. Mm -hmm. So you want my signature on all these lines? Mm -hmm. See, it's a warrant, right? It's just a compilation of me. Yeah, it's just a necessary piece of paper. Authorizing her to bill these people. Yes, yes. exactly. We're actually authorizing her to collect the money. She can't mm. she can't collect funds for anything without a warrant. So we have to do it for real estate taxes, motor vehicle taxes. There has to be a warrant, or she can't collect money. She can bill it all she wants, she just can't take the <laughs> <laughs> Those are abatements. The bounds, they're the ones who are selling. Sold. Sold. Oops. I think that, yeah. There's four of them. There's they, four. There's they canceled because they're moving away. Right. They moved, well, they transferred the registration to another state and canceled Massachusetts. So there's four certificates in the summary that, and the applications that need to be signed. Yeah. I'm signing the summary. But do the individual ones just need yep. an initial? Yeah, each, no, each individual one needs to be signed. Yeah. And then each application needs to be signed. Right. So a lot of signing. Yes. Yeah, they had two cars in the vehicle or a trailer. Well, yeah, there's a lot of them. Seven dollars. We checked one yesterday because it was only four dollars. Mm. Um, I'm trying to follow this form. Is Nancy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Volvo. Mm -hmm. And then there's a one. That's the end yeah. of hers. That's yes. the end of hers. There's three per page. Okay. One more down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just need one signature per 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 signature. Yeah. No. No. Per three. certificate. And two. Exactly. Oh, this is for three. her. This is the signature space you is yeah, for yeah. her, and then yeah, that right. one is logically right. there should be like a line right here. It, there's a perforation. There's a perforation, there. but it's hard to see. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Jan will separate those, and those go with the abatement check. Mm -hmm. These are the supporting yeah. applications. Yes. You want any signatures on these? Yeah, yeah they bottom each require right. one. Each. Not e just the front page, bottom right. School teachers always have the best time writing. Mm -hmm. Grammar school teachers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, golly, today's the sixth. Yes. yes. Of course, they don't teach that in school anymore. So. No. No, oh, are we going to actually motion to approve us? <laughs> Finish signing, and then we're, we'll do that. <laughs> Bit of a 
formality but, mm -hmm. but yes we do yes Anyway. All right. Okay. So I move that we uh, go through approve all these uh, abatements and yes. warrants related to motor vehicle excise taxes. Second. Both in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Next on the agenda is program conversion, which I presume means the switch from Tyler to Patriot and the process that we're going to have to go through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I talked to um, Al Jones in Brookfield, um, they had done the same conversion um, turned a year and a half ago, and he gave me some very good advice, and I've also spoken with Roy about it, mm -hmm. Roy Bishop, and so um, what I've started to do, uh, you and I started going through different accounts to see little details that needed to be filled in to make sure, you know, just little cross the T's and dot the I's things uh, to make our data as complete and, and clean as possible, and in addition, I've started printing out a set of property record cards to use uh, so that we'll have a complete set that we can use for our drive-by inspections or better. And that we'll have, um, I want to show it to you, mm -hmm. has a little filling phase of it, saying, yes, we got there on that date. We measured, did we take pictures? Did we talk to the owner? There's a place for the owner's signature. Of course, once you have the tablet, it's- Our initials, if there. you get the tablet, but if we don't, here we have this. These are the 800 some odd. This is the A's. <laughs> A's. This is the A's. A's as in the street or the homeowner? A's in the homeowner. And I think maybe the BA's. Yes, the A's plus the BA's. That's all I've got done so far because I was doing it to fill in time while I was waiting you, for a call you know, back from somebody. Out as... It would have been a whole lot quicker to get a stamp. Doesn't take a moment for to put them through. It really doesn't. Over and over and over. <laughs> no, I just okay, put, okay. I put a whole pile in and it does the whole pile. Does them beautifully. Um, are you printing these out after you've gone through the data on the computer to make sure it is correct? Some yes, some no. I'm just trying to get mm -hmm. some useful work done. So we'll, we may end up spotting things on here and circling them in red. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Um, so, um okay go ahead i'm sorry i was gonna say our new computer is i i had talked with Roy and proposed next monday for switching over the computer but i haven't heard back from him yet if that's well that verney said the 11th is what she thought okay yes so then i'm assuming that that's yes it'd be nice if he would give us a time well i'll ask him for it um if he's that planning to do it that sure day one of us is here oh absolutely and and i know this stuff i'll probably be catching up with on the weekend to make sure it's you know everything that's possible is changed over to the network mm -hmm. and uh but it'll take a few days to work out some any glitches and uh we won't have any new program on it yet but we'll have all the old ones and need to check them you won't have a new program on it it's being hosted oh, that's there. right it's being hosted I can't, and can i have a hard job that, that's why i kept head. that's why i kept the, saying the new I've computer had, makes no the difference new hardware you're getting yes is, is it just coincidental that we're updating the hardware yeah i just got my new computer so it's just coincidental it's not like patriot said they have a requirement no no uh no, patriot does have like requirements years since she had a new computer yeah it's been too long and okay. it's it's not a solid state it's very slow i'm always having not responding not responding sure. with my different programs i get that i just wanted to make sure it wasn't directly tied to no 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 we looked into that but we would have had to have had an entire new server sure and okay. network and everything else but and it, so it, 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 Roy said it's definitely to our financial advantage to pay the hosting fee every year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which so before anyone from Patriot ever shows up with a key to the server, um the things that we need to do include um reviewing the data in the system as yes. we've been doing to kind of clean that up yes. as best we can. Printing out all the cards for every property. Mm -hmm. Which you've pretty much done. Okay. Well I'm part way into it. And then taking that data on the road. And yeah, we don't have to go out on the road yet, but yes. 
but that's part of the process. It is part of the process, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, um, well, you're definitely not going to be doing all the site visits before you start the conversion. No. Oh, definitely not. No. Then I thought be, we had to. If I pull uh, minutes, if I pull minutes from a, 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 probably about four meetings ago, three or four meetings ago, I think you had decided that you were going to not you were going to start the site visits after the conversion. To look at the new data cards and yes. compare them against the reality. Exactly. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we can update data in the new program and then print them out too. Mm -hmm. uh, the end result, the value derived in the new program has to be within a certain percentage of the value of that property in the old program in order for it to be an acceptable conversion mm -hmm. to the state. Because when so we, we import have to the data, each and every single property. When we import the data, we're not importing the conclusions that Tyler made about the properties we're just pulling in the basic the raw background data, just data. The raw data. Yeah. yes and patriot algorithms are going to generate new values yes which is why we need to decide on uh tables what we want for tables mm -hmm. if we want to pull out the tyler tables we i've been encouraged to print them out which i will do all of the cost tables mm -hmm. that tyler uses and the effective age tables that they use and then we can compare them to the ones existent in Patriot, and we can change Patriots if we choose. If we feel that Tyler doesn't something have an else is age more table because it doesn't calculate effective right. age. But if we feel that uh, we already have something that's more appropriate to Conway, we can change what's inherent in the Patriot program mm -hmm. to uh, be that. But that's going to have to be part of the give and take between the Patriot software people and us when they once it's there train us and and host us, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because they'll show us how to change tables or update them or whatever. Because cost tables need to be updated every year as costs change. Mm -hmm. Yep, we have our Marshall and Swift subscription, and I'd certainly be inclined to continue to use that and then use their figures. <clears throat> okay. Are there other things we need to do before Patriot actually sort of shows up and starts their conversion? Uh, I'll be talking to Jeff about that in the next couple of days. I just haven't even thought about it until we got the bills to right. the situation. I'm, I'm just worried that if we put it off too long, we're going to be running into the point where it's not ready to do the bills next year. Oh, I agree. And that's, that's bad. bad. That's very bad. We can't do this oh, no. again. No. So what does that timetable look like then? Like we have to start soon. Uh, I would like to start well before the 1st, but we're already at the 6th of the month. Well before the 1st of January. January. I'd like to start the conversion well, and then win, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. And do our training early January. Well, you're going to be. I'm going to be laid up for at least a week. Right. Um, the beginning of the conversion process is not going to be, it's going to be in the background. I mean, they're going to be doing yes. their thing. We're not going to be hands-on in the beginning. Have you? Well, could you talk to Jeff at Patriot and ask him what's as soon as they can start their ball rolling? Dece it was supposed to be December 1st initially. We had initially talked about December 1st until the bills took so darn sure. long. But can we find out now what, yes. what their start date is? Yes. He's ba basically been waiting for me to let him know how things are going. Mm -hmm. And by Friday, I should be done with that. Um, the figures, as you know, we can tell folks now, um, the figures are now in complete agreement. And we have extracted the correct values and sent them to the billing company, and they're simply having a couple of little formatting glitches that we're working out um, in lining up the data from the extract into their billing uh, program. But the uh, tax rate will be $16.40, and Wait, did we just go off topic? <laughs> Janice, well, it's, it kind of all ties in with the conversion in a no. bizarre little way. We, well, don't, I would, have, I guess I, we I, don't have tax bills here. <laughs> I would exercise my authority as, as chair pro tem yes. to urge you to call Patriot as soon as possible and yes. say, we're good to go. Start, oh, yeah. You know, so that they don't well, as as wander they, off and do some yeah. other project and then well, discover it, where this is the When they start doing with their stuff in the background, it's not going to shut Tyler down. You're going to have 
a little bit of time to finish doing what you're doing. Yes. I mean, right. Tyler's not going to lock you out instantaneously. No, they're not. We're still paying. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I guess my point and is and that you know, large organizations are dealing with a lot of different clients. If you say, "Oh, we're going to go December one," and then you don't, suddenly keep you're everyone at the busy, bottom of the list. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. That or, was not a or, definite. That was an I would like to do. It, and you know, I would hope to be able yeah. to start then. But I would call them as soon as possible so that we don't discover mm -hmm. that because of a delay, they put yeah, us just say, at the bottom of some list or put us into the February list or right. something. You know, I just right. just as soon as possible, I'd say, we're, "Let's go. Let's do it. We're ready mm -hmm. to go." Yeah, mm -hmm. good advice. I'll talk to them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that makes complete sense because you don't want it to be them to say, well, you know, now we're doing this, this and this right. and we can't get to you to mid-February. Training will be in March or April and we're going, oh, God, mm -hmm. another year of Tyler Taxes. Yep. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, we'll be out of commission the week of January 15th. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, but, but if they start just as soon as possible. Yes. <clears throat> and maybe then, maybe, I don't know, they will come in for a few hours here and there, too. Well, whatever. Yeah, we can accommodate We'll, cro it. we'll cross the bridge when it, yes, comes yeah. to it, when it comes to it. Right. You know, um, I would say we want to get a... Sorry, I know this is a sensitive subject, but get that ad worked out and yes. placed in, you know, the recorder, yes. MMA, the assessor's group, Indeed is where Jan found Lori in a matter I've of... I've never heard of that, yeah. Indeed.com is like the biggest job site there is in this country. And she found Lori in a matter of 24 hours. Wow. Yeah. May we do as well. <laughs> does, is, is, does, it, does it make sense to talk about that now as part Absolutely. of the conversion? Um, because I blended the two job descriptions. Right. Mm. And so I'm fired. I, did I send you a copy? So I'm fired. Yeah, I'm fired. Did I send you a copy of that? This is a, this is the this is for people who might got that's okay. this is the job yeah. description for the administrative assessor and for the assessor's clerk because I will be retiring at some point next year from the administrative assessor's job, not from the board. So I blended the two job descriptions mm -hmm. and I sent them to you and Russ at least. I thought I yes. sent you a copy mm -hmm. because you could look at what you know what you've been doing. So I thought it'd be helpful to see. <laughs> Um, I mean, it makes sense because I'm an assistant to the assistant. Yes. Because the administrative assessor is the assistant to the board of assessors sure. is what it is. Yeah. But because of your and Laura's relationship and it, you just had her as a clerk for so long, it yes. made sense when she... My, my suggestion Lee, would be that the board tonight empower me to sort of shepherd this process through. Because it's really an administrative process. So moved. Um, I can, mm -hmm. And I'll second that. The ad. Um, this is the ad and the getting it out there. Right, and, right. Mm -hmm. And the job descriptions and just kind of it's an administrative task that needs to be shepherded. And, mm -hmm. and uh, since I I've am, started on that project already, I could. What I have what I do need. That type of thing what I, I'm in, yeah. Veronique will tell you where the ad needs to be placed to meet, you know, the, the the what we need to meet, you know, because yes. there are certain we, it has to go in so many places. So. Yes, we've had no no applicants or anything like that, so well, this no, is an absolutely brand new situation. Right. So, um, what I need is for you and Russ yes. to send me individually any feedback on the job description. Okay. Um, I'm assuming I'd like to think that since I really just blended the, the mm -hmm. information that was in the two that there'd be no hang-ups, but you guys right. are much more familiar with the actual work mm -hmm. that um, Lori's done and, and you have done. So I need you to, as soon as possible, to read through and send me any feedback yeah. that I can incorporate. Then I will take that to Veronique because it's part of the town yes. personnel. Yeah, she said she doesn't have to approve it, but she just has to have it on file. Yeah, yeah, and I think it would so. be smart since it was created out of Yes. Casting central. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, that she look at it and make sure, but I haven't really removed anything of right. like, consequence. I'm yeah. just. She said it's a board appointed position that works under the board. So yes. how the job description read is ultimately the decision. Yeah. Of the board. Well, Miss, but, keep it consistent but, with all the other ones. Yeah. She is the HR person for the town. So she should have copies yeah. of the. But it starts with you two guys I sending me your it. feedback. Yes. And then. I'll see if Russ and I can I'll, get together late tomorrow. Okay. Then I'll run it through her. You rest don't have to get together. You can do the individual. Well, true, but you just send me your individual feedback, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and uh, 
Uh, that way we don't have to, you know, have a formal meeting or anything. It's just be done administratively. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'll run it to Veronique. Um, and presumably she'll do the same thing, kind of look at it from her point of view. Mm -hmm. And if she says, yeah, this meets my requirements, then the next question would be, where do we I have, I have to create a job? Out of it. The required create places to post it. Right. Yes. And the ad should be sweet and simple and to the point because it's, you know, always a per word cost. <laughs> Or per word, per character, or yeah, inch, whatever, yeah, yeah. Um, now you so moved to have him move forward with the job description, ad writing, and publishing, but you never voted. No, oh, we did actually. I second myself, and we both voted. <laughs> and we, yes, we voted. I, very quick, yeah, yeah, we both, we both uh -huh. agree on us. It was very quick, okay. Um, <laughs> and as far as where we would run ads, you mentioned Indeed.com. Indeed.com is a very good place. And the Mass Municipal um, and, Association yeah, has a site. It has yes. to, yeah, that is a must. The MAAO does. The Mass Association of Assessing Officers has that a monthly a, newsletter. That is a must. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would Mass actually even... MAAO. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now, you guys the, you guys um, have an email blast group like the town clerks do. You know the assessors where you can all like reach yes, out. Yes, and question. we also can do it to the two county groups, the Franklin right. and the Franklin. I'm only saying because I know when town clerks are hiring, they'll they'll just email a link to the job posting and say, "Hey, we're looking for such and such in our town." That's the MAO. No, no, no. The our our Google group, our email group. That's oh. just town clerks. Mm -hmm. Sort of an informal network. No, we don't have that. I don't. Know. Yes, you do. You have an assessors group. All right. <laughs> so I've always worked on it through the county groups. There is a there is a Hampshire County group of assessors, so yes. some kind of email list or all right or Franklin they, County group. Yeah, from them. Yes. I would do Franklin in Hampshire for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so there's Franklin Assessors Association. Immediate, well, association. Yeah, FCAA. And they have some kind of mailing list of, of some sort. Yes, we can send it to the secretary. And there's a, and so the Hampshire class. one, a Franklin one, indeed, Western um, MMA. Yeah. The local newspapers. I think we have to put it in a report, yes. right? Well, I, I don't think we have a choice. I think we should. I don't well, think, it makes I sense to put it in the set choice. as well. Yes. Well, yeah. In fact, they actually reach anyone. Yes. Um, yeah, that's right. And that would, of that course, I look, at, I, look the, at the, I look at the recorder at the help wanted, and there's always just two things, one for the recorder and one for Stavros. Yes. That's and there's nothing else. Lately. <laughs> yeah, Buckley was looking for a highway department personal for a while. But, um, <laughs> and then there's the mass municipal. Right. Assessors, uh, something association. The MAO, yeah. 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 The um, that hits. The now you don't you don't have a big advertising budget, so. No, that's right. Keep that in mind. <laughs> um. Hmm, okay. Uh, do you, is the administrative assessor able to compile the email addresses to which we would send all these things? Okay. I don't know about Indeed, but I'm obviously... Well, that's just Indeed.com. Indeed, I-N-D-E-D? -E yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, Indeed. <laughs> um, all right, and I guess I'll try to fabricate some kind of um, ad. Um, have you never written an ad for an assessor before? Talk to Jan. Jan? Yeah, because she just did hers for... She's done several of these she's, years. She has, and she just did the one for her assistant and she's good at that kind of stuff. I'm so. sure she'd be glad to review it too. Yeah. Or even give you like, Hey, this is the one I did. Sure. And just edit it to fit your needs. Sure. Okay. Oh, and great. when I get that together, I'll run it past you and Russ again. Super. In case you see something really stupid in there that. Yeah. Yep. Anything that we need to add, whatever. Okay. Job I descriptions. <laughs> I know. Description. Okay, um, so we create the job description, create the ad, replace the ads. Um, then presumably someone answers the ad. They'd be interviews. Is mm -hmm. this position Appointed locked into a the... certain budget and classification, et cetera? Veronique Ver Ver would know all about all that, right? Yes, uh, we have money, some funds in this year's budget to pay a trainee. Mm -hmm. uh, if they were overlapping. Yes. And yes. do you have a firm date for your retirement? No. So I'm thinking about that, working on it. Yeah, that's something I would think that an applicant's going to kind of want to. Yeah, depending know. on when's the job start. Well, it depends on who it is. Do they know the job already from having worked at it in another town? However, if they don't, that's Lori's a different right. thing. If I respond to the ad, 
because I think I might be qualified. I, in my personal life, probably know when I want to start on my new job. Mm-hmm. So they would want to know when is this, mm-hmm. when does this job start? It's great. It's an obvious question. I'd say the starting would be as soon as possible. Me getting out of the way would be. But you're, you're flexible that if someone answered the ad and they, they had. Uh, not before their... May 1st. That would be the earliest. Okay. That's different than. Yeah, right next away. week or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, because that's my annual. You can't. I wouldn't say the start date May first. You want to bring no. them in as a trainee before that when the when the program. But they would be that would be the earliest I'd be leaving. That would be when they would become a sole on their own, right. full time. How much money is available for training? How much of a training period do we have money for? I'll have to double check the figures. Yeah, yeah I believe that you included ten, spawn, there was yeah. ten thousand in the budget Something for like a that, trainee, yes. and that, you know, ten thousand to the end of fiscal year. It's low, but it's so it's on the hourly rate. Well, again, it, is it person experienced? Or are they brand new? Right. Mm, but I, it doesn't matter. My point is that if someone comes. Answering our they ad. want to know what they're being paid and they want to know when the job when starts. When the job starts. And if we say the job officially, formally starts on May 1, mm-hmm. but we have, and we need to know how much right. we can afford to pay you to train, run parallel with Lee for X weeks. Mm-hmm. So you would back that up from May 1 and say, oh, we have enough money to, mm-hmm. to start paying a trainee when. But yeah, I, I would I would like it to be July 1, but we'll see. Just to finish out the fiscal year. Well, we need to know. But I know, I know. Lee, you're making it so we can't oh. do this. If you want, uh, if, if you want a train, if you want somebody to be here, can they train... be fully trained by May one? No, yes, they can. Sure, they start, you know. While I'm trying to do the conversion Oops. and everything else Lee, at the same time, they're training. So many things with happen Lee. only once a year. Lee, they're training with Patriot, so you're yes. not going to be teaching them how to use the system no. to start with. We're looking to get somebody with some experience. Yes. So they already know this shit. They know the website. Well, you'd hope that they would Rose. understand. If they know the website and they have experience in assessing. That's great. They know more. Yes. You have got to let it go. <laughs> I'm sorry. but I'm you willing need... to let it go, but not no, at you're the not. expense of the town. Lee. It's not at the expense of the town. There is always other towns. I came in. Ginny taught me nothing but a little bit on elections. There are other towns you go to. Hey, I have questions about this. Can I come sit with you for a couple hours? They can go over to Ashfield. They can go over to Buckland. They can go to Shelburne. They can go to Deerfield. And not only that. They can talk to the counties. You will be here on the board. Exactly. So if there's a, if there's a, you know, a goofy little question. I'm there. Of course I'd be available. They can say, hey, Lee, what about this? But they can also. But from it, it, from fears. experience, from experience, I know that you don't train because you don't want to let go. You say you're going to, but you don't. You haven't taught me anything and except time. it's been two years. I have been here and over any, two I years. Know. And anytime I've wanted to teach something, you've oh, been no. busy with. So you never, busy. you never ask. Well, you but, look over but, and assume. Assume, okay. assume the same thing happened. <laughs> Right? It's doing yeah. the same. You're busy yeah. during the, the <laughs> training time we set aside. Um, that that's not going to change whether you're busy or for whatever reasons. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I and I've been there before myself. You know, I've, I've done jobs where I thought I was indispensable and no one else could learn this job. That's not the case. And and, uh, and it's not true. You know. Oh, I know. I know that's not and, the case. Um, um, so I just want to do the best job I can for the town in the time that I'm going to be. Well, you have left. done a great job for the town, and, and you've been doing it way. for 38 years, and it's time for you I'm to. <laughs> but you're going but to it, be here. You're going to be here on yes, the board, exactly. So, and there's other things you want to do. You want to. Uh, you want to spend time with your grandchildren. Uh, you want to. There's things that it's time for you to do for that's you. That's certainly true. Time for you to do for you. Yes. You know. Mm-hmm. And from a yourself. bureaucratic point of view. People answering this ad are going to want to know when can I start, mm-hmm. and the answer is going to be we have money in the budget to train you, so we can, you know, and and be stepping down from her job, not the board, mm-hmm. on a certain date and the training period. We have ten or twelve weeks of training money, so you back it up from there and say, boom, February, you know, Valentine's Day, 
um, is when we're, when, mm -hmm. you, when you right. can start. Yeah, Which is not mind. that far away yeah. from now, that kind of thing, yes. It's, it's not that far away, but we have and to keep in mind that Patriot's not, it, if we want them to train with us, with Patriot, then that is when we would be training with Patriot. Right, so the question is, when is Patriot, another thing to add to your list when you talk to yes. Patriot, when do they start training us in the use of their software? Right, when does that come along because, in the process of the conversion? Because Lori makes the point that ideally, our trainee would be here then. Mm -hmm. So when you step away and when they arrive to train us, are part of the answer of when does the new person start? Because mm -hmm. the Patriot says we're coming in on January 2nd to train and it's one month. Okay. Then we kind of have to sign off the trainee mm -hmm. being here then. Probably, right. right, right. It's just not going to happen. Um, so that's that when they when Patriot's going to train us and when you uh -huh. the soonest you can step away uh -huh. are two important dates that, that we need before mm -hmm. we run that ad or at least before we start answering the ad. Mm -hmm. I mean, for them to learn the system, if they don't know it from the developer is the best way for them to learn it than for you to learn it and then try to teach them. Yes. Uh, it's best to have everyone here that could always, you know, could ask questions. Um, so that's telling me, just looking at it as a bureaucrat, the sooner you can step away, probably the better for the transition. Yeah. With my retirement situation. Now, do you have to remain full time through the end of April? Or at least 20 hours a week. Okay, so you can cut down to 20 and the new person could come in at 20. Yes, we could phase in. Yeah, come in at 20 yes. and just say, you know, it's going to be part-time through the end of April and then it becomes full-time at that point. All right. Also, we need to work out. We need to know what those dates are. And I need to know how much money, mm -hmm. how, how long the training money can stretch. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. And if I'm not here in May and June... Then my salary could go into that. Yes, just your they they would kick into and my salary for those two months would be available to pay a new person because you would have stepped away. Yes, right, and that's where it would come from anyway. It all comes from the same no, same line, same line. The budget it comes to the, yeah. yeah. So you need to look at your calendar and yes. your sort of legal no, requirements for yes, retirement. Yes, exactly. And. Then, I know it's that's why May first is the date that comes to mind. And and just as a heartless bureaucrat, I would argue <laughs> argue that the soonest you feel, you know, for your legal and other yes. technical requirements, that you could declare that the the, the position vacant or partially vacant. As soon as you could do that, um, I would advocate doing it uh, so that we can start this person lickety split. If, you know, if we can pull it off. Yeah, no, the soonest I can do it is May 1st. May 1. Yes. Okay. Fully. But yes, to she, be fully. But if she, if fully, she, it's separated. Right, but she can, she can go come down to 20. So you can, before if, that, if somebody's willing to come in part time for the first few months, and then after that, it would be like their, you know, break in period. Sure. You have, four months at part-time or five months at four months at part-time max, mm -hmm. you know, three months, four months. And then it would be full-time as of May 1st. And it would also be an increase in pay at that point because yes, they'd be increasing the responsibilities. Exactly. Yeah. The, the pay would go up to what the job pays. Right. But you see how that's a little tricky if I were, average, if I were applying for this job, um, mm -hmm. especially if I was someone with experience coming from another similar job, I'd be like, I want to, work 40 hours a week right exactly right yeah it is it well, is it isn't a yeah um, well, whatever but hours. of course if somebody's coming in it's and a 30 already, hour a week job tops not if my job's rolled into it because we're taking my hours and adding to your hours and that makes it a full-time job full-time as in like 35 hours yeah 37 and a half whatever yeah mm -hmm. yeah because that that makes it become. Yeah. But I can I can certainly ease back and do other parts of the job. I can do on the mapping. I can do other parts. No, until like my twenty hours. Seek, oh, no, for, for until my twenty you, hours for your twenty hours. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I can be doing. 
Yes, yes. Ancillary parts. Yes. The but mapping. The job while the, the person is training at the main core. Right, right. The, like the 2023 maps. Yes, that exactly. The two of us can work on and get right. caught up. Yes. The tricky yes. part is finding someone who'd be willing to work part time for work part time for several weeks, right. or months. Right. Um, that's that's a tricky part. That is a very that is a tricky part. If someone comes in that has you know, hey, I've been working with this system for ten years. I don't you know, I don't need to be trained. I've been. But if know, that person came in, I'm just said, looking to move to a smaller town and right. that isn't so stressful. And right, it's like when Chuck Meyer came to me and said, I just got. Uh, I just left Newsday, an experienced newspaper, mm -hmm. editor, and I want to retire myself to Conway and and um, work part time. Mm -hmm. And I said, great, you know. But he wanted to work part time. Yeah. Right, right. If he wanted a full time job, and all I had was a part time job. Then you know he would have mm, done something else. Well, well in that case, is Lee would on... Lee would have to become the clerk at twenty hours a week. I would have to step back and let this person step in. Right. It's it's going to be a little tricky because of yeah. this, this. If this person stepped in at thirty hours a week and I stepped back, yeah. that you could do, do your twenty until yes. the end of absolutely till May. Yeah, yeah. yeah. till the end of yeah. The May's sort of a magic date for you in terms of the it's, it's, it's the so. April to hit yes, that. It's, it's my to round up a year the years the year the retirement board right okay and so forth and uh, to gain that benefit year yes. Okay. So the trick is to see how can Maybe maneuver the money to create mm -hmm. something that's attractive to somebody who's kind of eager to move mm -hmm. on. And that would be, I would say, a sit down with Veronique and Jan to figure where the money is and how the money is. Well, right. yes, and but you know, again, here depends on who we have re reply. It is, but you have to have some idea. Yeah, yeah. To some degree. It, it, yes, it, we need to be prepared for this to have somebody come in who knows the knows the Patriot system. That'd be glorious. It wouldn't sure. be. But they're still gonna want to when's the job start? Of course. That's, I, I, I guarantee know. It. All I right. Guarantee I, it. Oh. I mean, because there is always, and I'm not gonna say the name. I'm spelling this right, but who has wanted to come back here? And that's what she does. Well, regardless, who might be interested, whoever is interested is going to want to know the start date. They're yes. It's going to be because they just got laid off and they're right. they put food on the table and they want to start tomorrow. Ooh. Or, or because they're moving from California and they're going to do it yep. over three months and, and the idea of a May startup would be wonderful. Or if they don't get out of where they are now, they're going to shoot their boss. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you know, they're gonna. <laughs> but then the, the second complicating factor beyond the candidates' needs and desires is the the window for Patriot training. Mm -hmm. um, if which, they need it. Yeah, right. Yeah. If they need it. I mean, we can put in there, you know, experience with whatever the yeah, whatever AP5. Catalyst AP five, right. you know, in so parentheses Patriot says because you know mm -hmm. if it was someone that used Patriot that hasn't used it in a couple of years, no, they're that's... not going to know it as Catalyst. No. They're going to know it as and Patriot. they're not going to know the new upgraded. No, but it, I'm version. sure it's very similar. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, uh, it's not at all like the Patriot I used, but that was 10 years ago. That, exactly. Yeah, I saw it does that. Okay. It does. But... So um, I guess I'm going to try to shepherd this process along. Mm. Um, but I'll probably get back to you guys at some point when I need the specifics, like, you know, the addresses for yeah, I'll, advertising I'll vehicles. I know, so. I know within a week of the date. I know, will go I'm, through I'll, the budget workups to get actual, try to get actual dollar figures. Yes. Yeah, that would be good. What I really want to know is how long the training money would last. I mean, I'm right. interested in time. Right. Um, it must be designed around a certain number of hours for a certain number of weeks, I presume. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I presume Veronique would know this. I presume that. The, and the, she would also know whether we were authorized to go over should the right candidate come. Are, it, are we authorized to go over that money that we had set aside? For is, training fees. For just to get to bring them in. Yeah. You know. Uh, I'm assuming that you know, the town employees are all classified based on experience and yes. years of service mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. So this position, I, I'm not sure what's in the budget, yes. but I presume that it's budgeted for a certain spot on the grid. Yes, it is. 
Um, and people if you look at the Franklin, the FERCOG salary survey, but there's money in the budget. Really yes, there's yes. money Surveys. in the budget. Oh, yes, yeah. money in the budget, and that's all we have to work with. So whatever that amount is, unless unless there are any you know approvals right. to go, and that happens when new some and employees leave money the new budget like... for me for the conversion. This my regular thirty hour a week budget. Yeah. Right, there's additional money in there for another four or five hours a week for conversion. For overtime right. for you, and then there's some training money. It's not overtime, and then but there's yeah, training it's money. But there's always situations where employees leave and new employees come or employees are added, right. and money has to be brought into the budget from other places to cover payroll for yes. employees that were in Canada. Happen, like, suppose, you know, the highway department needs an extra person. Right. You know, we just can't do it. And, you know, we didn't budget for the seventh person, but we need this seventh person. Yep. It, it it has to come from somewhere. So, you, you know, mm -hmm. if somebody were to come and say, you know, hey, I, I've been working in Springfield for the past 15 years and I'd really love to get into a small town environment. I can't deal, you know, I can't deal with the city anymore. And I've been working with this system for the mm -hmm. past 10 years. And I, you know, you want to grab them. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I'm and you want to do what you have to do to grab them. Familiar with the process. <laughs> um but Veronique could tell us how much money we have. And, you know, well, we know. Um, we know how much is in the budget. We know. Uh, mm -hmm. We keep a running budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, we know what's Because that's the second question. The questions are going to be, if they think they're qualified and interested, it's going to be, how much does it pay? Mm -hmm. What are the benefits? Mm -hmm. And when can I start? And we need to have those answers before we start. Benefits are medical dental life. We now have mm -hmm. a... Yes. We now have the... Um, the town pays a certain portion of medical, but and not paid, for the dental or life. Yes, it does. The dental? Yes, it does. Oh, my mistake. Um, you have to work and the life it does also. Mm. Um, that, and there's also a new 401B plan. Yeah. I don't even know that. It's instant. But that's those those answers have to be on our yes. table when we sit across mm -hmm. someone. Yeah, and it has to be a 20-hour minimum week, 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 though. Right, but we're looking at a full-time yeah, person. I know. So that is the you know, sick time, personal time, Qualified vacation there. time. Okay. And we want to do this with all two speed. Sounds like. You let me know when when Patriot says they like would it. like yes. to start the training. Yes. Because that's that's a key. Piece. I mean, I assume that there's going to be a few weeks where they're going to be doing stuff in the background. Yes. So. We're setting up the servers and all that. Right, and then but, you got and then you got the holidays and you have whatever. So I'm there's so many it, Monday yeah, holidays in January and February. Yeah, and then spring. Well, I mean, you've got Christmas and New of Year's course, and New Year's. And so yes. training yeah. will probably be somewhere in maybe January or February. Mm. I would I would hope sooner, but yeah, I'm trying to be realistic. But he's going to find out, and then we'll know. Yeah, and then we'll plan accordingly. All right, because they don't—they could do the stuff in the background if they're on their servers at the same time they're training. They have trained people who they'll send out with you know, right. dummy software and. Um, and I'll find out exactly the. the well, the training is all done by training. Zoom. The training is done by Zoom. It's all done by Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. They don't send real people out anymore. No, no. no they send a. They have a large manual. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, that we will print out and have on hand, and hopefully be able to look at as we're doing the training. Mm -hmm. Well, us people with two monitors can have the menu open on the second monitor. True. And and um, we I think discussed the other day that even though you'd be stepping away from the, the job you have now with on board, mm -hmm. um, that I will that do you'd the be training trained anyway. Of, yes. In, uh, yes. Cross training. Yes. Role. Okay. Because you never know when something may happen, and I will step away if they choose to have me step away. I mean, ultimately, the, the, they they may say, well, maybe I don't want to work more than 25 or 30 hours, and I want to keep that assistant on hand to answer phone calls and take messages and do the shit work. That's we'll to see. be determined. Exactly. Does Patriot um, charge more uh, for more trainees? I don't believe so. Can you add that to the list? Yep. Um, I think if it was Zoom-related, they, they wouldn't care. but Because right now we're talking about... Um, Two or three members of the board of assessors and yes. you, and the ideally the new person. Mm -hmm. Right. So five at the moment. Well, Russ isn't going to train on it. I don't think so. Well, that's no. why I said two or three. But yeah. yeah, it'll. And um, I mean, it's really a good idea to have a second person in the office that at least knows the basics on the yep. system. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, you know, I, I as a member of the board and mm -hmm. want to understand how it works. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. But I'm thinking, I mean, what do you mean in terms of you being cross trained? In, in, yeah. Right. Because yeah. this person's not here and somebody comes in it. I want my property card. I want it now. Right. I want to come right. back next week. That person's going to have their vacation times yeah, and yeah. their sick times and their training days. 
okay. you know, or conference days or whatever. And you just never know. Uh, the last question I have related to this is um, about our normal cycle of work. Mm -hmm. If there weren't a conversion and weren't hiring replacements yes, and so forth. Yes, I have that um, yeah. fairly well worked out. Yeah, it'd be nice to know that, for at least for me to know that because... You know, it looks scary, kind of like when you look at the list of things that the town clerk does, it looks scary. But a lot of the stuff is once a year. Or once yes, a once quarter. a year. Yes. But it would be nice to know what that cycle is because we're yeah. trying to wedge in this mm -hmm. hiring, training, conversion in the front end of the calendar year. And so which hoping, is actually a, the best time to do it. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. That, that's quiet time. And then, and it's, you know, the, yeah. yeah, relatively, we have the three ABCs and that's about it. Right, and those are, but, so but, those are that... but we're also granting abatements and exemptions at that time. Yeah, but that's a board easy. thing. It's just routine yeah, but stuff. that and that's a board thing. That's right. not well. So the question is, at what point in the calendar year does work pick up? Seriously, time. pick up? Uh, no, no chapter time, no chapters, no visits. Uh, yeah, visits, so, so but again, this is the it's... board, not the not the assistant. Yeah. They're not doing site visits. They're not well, processing. If we can, if we get the tablet, that will make a difference in the in the work over the course of the year. I'm just thinking broad strokes mm -hmm. here. Yes, I understand. Which time of the year does the board and the administrators just get really busy? Too busy to be doing conversions, and at what point do we want this all behind us and buttoned down? Well, it has to be. We have to be able to send the next year's figures to Lauren August fifteenth, I think. So I would say it needs, it, needs, it needs to be buttoned down by the end of the fiscal year. Yes. Which I'm is June May 30th. 1st. Yeah. I'm thinking this. Well, yes. 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 But I mean, everything settled and situated and calm and back on. Yeah. You I'm know. thinking May 1st. Yeah. Look, May 1st, the person's here, trained. Yes. So, that, if the software is yes. working, everything's humming along nicely. That is absolutely and Lee ideal. And just steps away mm -hmm. and is there in the background to help with mm -hmm. any questions, et cetera. But mm -hmm. starting in May, ideal. the new regime is in place and working. Mm -hmm. And that way, you know, that can be it's really set up before mm -hmm. we get into the summer months and all the work that yeah. really has to be done for the next tax yes. billing. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. May one, think May one as a key juncture. I know it's hard, but it's, it's, well, it's, it's, it's just hard, a, but it's, it's something I want. It's a new stage. It's, it's oh no, it's, it's something I want. It's just that I want to make sure that you will because you'll be the here. The town isn't going to be sure, you you'll, know, you'll always be available for questions. You'll be here, you'll be absolutely here. You're out, you're, you're still on the board, you're still yes. going to be here, you're going to be in and out. I mean, I'd like to have all the filing done, you know. I mean, I think. It, yeah, it's not going to happen. I know. No. You know, you'd like to have no, just, everything just absolutely have, done and perfect when you walk out the door. Just have, Jason, just have Jason keep coming in. I know. I will. You know. You know the interesting thing. After I left the recorder after forty years, they didn't miss a beat. Mm -hmm. You know, they that had, would be wonderful. Well, because they were all trained well and and uh, you know knew what they were doing, and so you, your goal over the next few months yes. is to help hire that person and train them and yes. you know and hopefully we'll get someone with lots of experience who already you know really won't need much training just kind of being have mm -hmm. to be shown where the boys room is and yeah. <laughs> you know that kind of stuff yeah they'll come in they'll have some ideas of their own that may well be improvements over the way i've done yeah. it that's great yeah okay so that's that's what i was hoping to mm -hmm. understand on their program conversion and i'll uh, start doing this administrative activity um, along the hiring front. Other business? Uh, Other business? Our tax rate is $16.40. Right. <laughs> I talked to Lauren today, and uh, I do have to contact Dave Guzman to have him press the final buttons for the absolute approval on that. But it is apparently, you know, it's just a formality mm -hmm. at this point, from his point of view. So when, um, do, when might people expect to see bills to be no? We're hoping that they'll be printed and mailed on Friday, but it depends on the work at QDS. Sure, but it's probably not unreasonable to expect that between QDS, the final bureaucratic steps, and the postal service at Christmas time. They May, should have them next week. Sometime next week, maybe. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
that no one really wants these bills. I, well, that, I got tired of looking at the money going, I'm going to spend this. So I already yeah. made it. <laughs> All right. So that would be good. Okay, good. If there's no other business? Yeah, we have no public comments. We have no public. We have no public. So okay. we have no public comments. All right. Um, meeting wrap-up? What is that? That uh, is motion to adjourn, basically. Is a, well, meeting wrap-up. Our next meeting is scheduled for yep. Wednesday. Our next regular business, regular uh -huh. Board meeting. Yes, it's Wednesday, December 20th. And mm -hmm. there's no reason not Same to do time. that? Not unless something unusual comes in from... Mm, yeah. We should meet on the 20th, even though it's two days yes. before. Yes, yes. Oh. Yeah, God. well, it's a, few, it's a few days before Christmas and my vacation, so... <laughs> She's taking the week after, right? All right, so I, I have some loose ends. But uh, if we have anything come in, the big questions that we as a board need to look at, you know, with regard to conversion or anything else or the job, we could set something before then. We'll probably have work sessions before then. Okay. Well, that's fine. But Yeah, but, we just need that 48-hour. Right. But in terms of formal, formal. All right. So so these dates are good. Yes. yes. These December dates are 20, good. January 3, January 17. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then possibly stuff in between as we try to push this project right. ahead. Yep. All right. Yeah. Then yep. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Second that motion. 631. 630. Come on now. <laughs> Everyone in favor? I am in favor. I am too. My vote doesn't count, but I'm in favor. Okay.